Has your mother ever put a curse on you? I don't know. I think my mom put a curse on me and I'm just about to like uh, scream, let me tell you. <laughs> hey friends, it's Ellie. So today I'm on my way to my mom's. We had a big old argument and she put nothing but bad wishes onto me. And I don't know if you're superstitious. I know that I try not to be, but for some reason, ever since she told me that, I've been having nothing but bad things happen to me and it's not a good not a it's no joke it's not like seriously bad but like she had those wishes for me and my sons and my son stubbed his toe you know he got a cut on his foot the other one had issues at work and it's just a mess my my hubby and i got in an argument the whole world is just falling apart ever since she told me that she hopes that nothing but bad things come to me and i'm sorry you're supposed to love your mother and i know that i i don't want to come on here and badmouth her she's my mother after all but how much can you take you know i am so sick and tired and honestly i'm gonna go there today because it's been like i don't know like days and i just feel like i want her to lift this curse off of me whatever it is <laughs> And I don't believe that, but at the same time, I want to be on the safe side. So I try to call her to, you know, apologize, even though I don't feel like it's my fault. You know, she was being a big witch. And now I always feel like I'm the one that has to apologize. And I'm sorry, mothers are supposed to be respect respected. And mothers are supposed to be the queen of everything. But mothers aren't always all that it's out that it's meant to be. I'm just gonna leave it at that so I can put it nicely. It's so hot out here, even though it's supposed to be nice weather. But anyway, so I'm on my way over there and my challenge and dilemma today is to see how she's gonna receive me because she blocked me so I can't even call her. And so, yeah, it was bad. It was a bad argument in the car when I was driving her home. And then she told me, well, I don't want to talk to you anymore. So get me out of the car. And so she thought I wasn't going to do it. And I was like, okay, well, you want to get out of my car? Then get out of my car. So she got out and she had to walk in the hot sun for like maybe 20 minutes. But, and I feel bad, but she was asking me. So it's like, okay, you want to walk? Then go ahead and walk your booty the way home. You know, it is what it is. So anyway, I don't know how she's going to receive me today. So we're going to go together and give me some courage, God, to deal with this woman because I want her to lift that off, whatever she did. And then I'll go back to just like keeping my distance with her because I honestly don't want to be around her, especially these coming months. I have a lot of stress and a lot of things to do. I don't need her stress, but in either case, we'll see how it goes. So, you know, this is really uncomfortable. I don't know. It just feels like I don't want to do this, but to be honest, it's something I have to do. I will do anything for my children. And if this is what it takes for me to go talk to her again so that I can feel better about what she said, then I'll do anything for them. And that's why I'm going. You know, my mom and I usually get along, but sometimes when we don't, like we go all at it. Like we will tear each other apart. <laughs> And that's what happened. And it's all because of my my brother. She doesn't like it. She likes to say stuff about my children. But when I tell her about her son, who's my brother, she will, like, fight the battle f with him and for him. And she will fight to the death for him. The one that lives with her. And I was just like, oh, my God. Well, if you don't want me to say things about your children of your son then don't say anything about my son or my sons and she doesn't get it so it's it's really hard and most of the time I'm able to tolerate it but this time around it was one of those days where I just was not having a good day I wasn't having patience with her and all she does is complain bitch and moan and I just couldn't handle it anymore so when she started saying things about my sons then that's when I, you know, kind of retaliated and said something about her son. And it wasn't even something big, to be honest. It was just something about when I told her that. You know, so it's just about a, my son attending an extra class and I was kind of like complaining about it. 
and she was like well why do you have to give them all force them to go to school and give them all this schooling and i'm like i'm not forcing them i just don't want them to be like lazy without having anything to do and just bumming around and i don't want to i want them to make more of themselves and she right away took that as me talking about my brother because my brother's not working right now so she's like oh so why don't you just say it directly and that's when the whole argument started and i'm like well if the shoe fits wear it if the broom fits wear it which <laughs> we're gonna be there soon friends let's see how it goes because let me tell you i can be the biggest bee but She's the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> she lives going west, so let's get over there. Okay, friends, we are going to get here. So I'm not going to put the camera on her face because I want this to be, like, authentic. But I am going to have you listen, and then we'll talk about it after. Madre! I'm sorry, Madre. ¿Por qué viene enojada conmigo? Hi, Madre. I'm sorry, Madre. This is hilarious. Look at this old style phone that she has. Oh my goodness. I love it. She responded well. I guess mothers are forgiving. I should truly forgive her too. <laughs> so we went thrift shopping. I found this spooky trying to spook her and she was like, get that thing away from me. We did go out to lunch and this is a new place that we tried and uh, she was trying to buy me everything today. I don't know if she was trying like that was her way of you know uh, making up for what happened but of course I did not let her I told her let's just do do half and half and we did go shopping a little bit at Joanne's we've already seen a lot of these things so you know we just kind of perused in there in and out quickly she was looking for craft items so she loves going there and we had a little bit of fun looking again at the Halloween stuff but other than that we just kind of left and she's like because i know she's spooked out with the skeletons and skulls i told her i dare you to go stand and take a picture and i thought she wasn't going to do it but she did do it she had a little bit of fun with it although that was a cute one and then she said that she wasn't scared of these because they're glamorous but i'm like okay let's see if this is true and once they put it on her she's like get that thing off of me <laughs> It was hilarious. We did, we did have a lot of fun. She, see, she likes little craft items and little people like this and little miniature decor and things. I have to say they were super pricey. I think she must have paid like $40 for like these things, like $38 with her senior discount. So we went in and now to Home Goods and look at this humongous, beautiful gingerbread house. I don't know if you guys want to see any Halloween on this channel. I do a lot of Halloween on Decor Home and Lifestyle, my other channels. But here I try to just stay with fall. But if you guys want to just see like quick overview when I'm out and about, we can do that if you guys want to let me know down below because I feel like sometimes Halloween doesn't do as well maybe in all the channels. I don't know. I've never really like... I don't know you guys let me know down below but this was beautiful i've been trying to challenge myself to not buy any more halloween or to at least not buy the gingies because they take up a lot of space but yeah so i didn't really film much today because like i said i was doing more spooky hunting and i do that more in my other channels so there wasn't like a lot of time to record much decor for this channel which in reality you guys like more of my decluttering anyway but sometimes you guys do tell me that you want to see decor so I thought I would ask you maybe for like just the holiday season and then we can go back to our you know like half first half of the year which is um, more of the you know regular daily life kind of thing so yeah we shopped till we dropped and it was a good outcome I have to say I feel better a lot about it that we made up and you know sometimes it's okay to apologize even though you may feel it's not your fault because I think it's better for our hearts to do that and it turned out well so you know we had a good day of shopping and I just have to be careful when she starts talking about my children and I told her let's just not talk about our children <laughs> good or bad so yeah so it worked out okay I hope that you guys enjoyed shopping with us. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to live well, healthy, happy, and organized. Many blessings and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, friends.